CJ here with the Tag to School. I don't know if you can recognize it or not, but today we're going to be working on my PWS lower. So today we are going to be modifying my trigger guard. It did come with the standard uh, Magpul MOE trigger guard. Not the aluminum, not the enhanced one, it's just your standard, uh, standard trigger guard. These guys are sometimes, more often than not, I would say probably 85% of the time used for cosmetic value. And that's exactly what my trigger guard is today. It's, it's purely for cosmetic value. Some people like ultra large ones for use with gloves. I don't like shooting with my trigger finger being gloved. I don't feel like I'm entirely in control of my firearm when I'm shooting with gloved hands or a gloved trigger finger. So this is going to be my new trigger guard. I got it from Veriforce Tactical on Amazon. I think it cost me 15 bucks and I got free shipping and handling. It's a billet um, skeleton look and if you guys couldn't tell already I really am kind of going more towards the whole skeleton feel with this with this firearm. So what we're going to end up doing is taking off this trigger guard. Let me just reset my camera. And installing the new one. And I'll show you guys all how to do that here. So this Veriforce Tactical trigger, trigger Guard did come with the roll pin and screw needed just in case you're not replacing one and you're in fact building an AR. But we're modifying one. So we're still more than likely going to end up using the screws that are in here. So there's that for you. So, we are going to take out the screw first, and then we're going to end up taking the roll pin out. And this is a little teeny tiny nothing of a screw in here. Little teeny tiny nothing of a screw. I was kind of thinking on getting some Daniel Defense furniture for this guy and then I elected not to simply because I couldn't find it and when I did find it it turned out to be quite expensive. Very tight screw for you. This next part is probably going to be done off camera for you. I'll try to get it on camera, but it's probably going to end up being done off camera. What I'm going to do is I'm going to be taking my lower and I'm going to be punching out this roll pin right here. There's a little teeny tiny roll pin. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. really right there and what I'm going to be doing is because I don't have a very stable platform essentially I'm just filming all of this on a card table I'm going to be using a roll of duct tape so that the roll pin will have a good safe place to fall into well that's it And you can see how that really just fell off. Here's that roll pin. And here's that screw. I 
I don't know why, but every time I start dealing with those, with that item, I always get really freaked out. Even more than the uh, bolt, bolt catch pen. So here's what that looks like. I do believe it is machined out of the 6061 aircraft grade aluminum, making it very light. I can't. Holding them side by side, it's clear to me that this one is heavier. However, um, I really, it's not that much heavier. It's really not that much heavier. It looks cooler though, which is, you know, definitely all that we're going for here. You know, screw functionality. We just, we just need things to look awesome. Here we are just trying to be tech cool over at the tech to school. So we're going to install it the same way that we uninstalled the other one, which was screw first, and we're going to be doing the exact same thing. We're going to do screw first. Boom. Just start screwing it on in there, waiting for it to catch a little bit. If it does, yay, success. Cool. Now I'm going to take my lower again and install that install that pin in there. And that ladies and gentlemen is how you get yourself a new trigger guard. There's not a whole lot to this. You just have to have the right tools. If you have any questions on how I did what I did, I do apologize about not being able to get the roll pin in there on video for you, but essentially I just set it in this hole right here, and I lightly happed with my nylon side of my hammer, and it went in. I made sure everything was lined up, you can see that it's very, very secure. If I wanted to, I could even back that screw out just a little bit just to make sure that it's gonna be very, very secure. And the reason why I would even think about doing this is because these screws are not long at all. So they won't go all the way, or they will go all the way through into your other trigger, or into the trigger guard itself, not um, being allowed onto your, uh, or not screwing into your lower receiver. So yeah, if you guys have any questions about what I did today, go ahead and leave a comment. I'll be more than happy to assist anybody with anything that I can. Thanks for watching.